okay there. So J.D. scored himself a huge career victory, and the mainstream media, once silent about everything that's going on, has decided they're going to stand up and they're going to put companies and Hollywood establishment on blast. When I say put on blast, too, I am talking about absolutely laying waste to who these people are, calling them a bunch of gender-obsessed zealots in the media and the entertainment world, striving to establish a virtual veto power over what you and I, we can actually get to watch. There were a lot, and I mean a lot, of call-outs, too. I think that's why MGM relented. And the amazing thing about this win is that ultimately, it wasn't celebrity that won it or corporate media. It was people putting together a campaign and saying, you know what, this will not stand. It will not stand at all. Ah, yeah, you and I, we are going to talk about this today. And you know what? I absolutely love seeing mega corporations put on blast, being told, you know, this is stuff that needs to be out there. It's important to be out there. You shouldn't be waging a war because you want to cancel an individual. And the best thing about this, the company that's picking all of this up, they're sticking to a certain release window. Why are they doing that, by the way? Because they want this film to be eligible for a Academy Award consideration. Can you imagine the reaction from Hollywood, from MGM, from that nameless person and on, if JD actually won a Hollywood Award, Academy Award because of that? Oh yeah, you and I, we're going to talk about that today. Fun times, huh? Fun times indeed. Ah, so hey there to all you fine, fine folks on this fine, fine day. I hope you are doing excellently. And you know, as far as all of this is concerned, you actually had a concerted effort to bury this film. The director of Minimata, they called that out. They said, hey, you know, at one time, you guys, you wanted to expose vile corporations that destroyed thousands upon thousands of lives. But you know what? Now you've become that thing. Imagine that. Now, an interesting portion of all of this is how the media has actually changed over time. In the beginning, you had them taking up for MGM, treating the director of Minimata like he was some kind of crazed conspiracist, saying, you know, he says that MGM has decided to bury the movie, but you know what? Yeah, even though he's quoting somebody here, is it really true? Over time, though, this was proven to be 110% factual, and people, they lit into MGM. They thought they would have some controversy before. Yeah, read this here. So we have the photographer's son that is spotlighted in the film. The one that went in and showcased these absolute horrors, saying that it was important that MGM not stand in the way of allowing public viewing and award consideration for this important and beautiful film. Then they say this, putting MGM on blast. MGM's ongoing refusal to release it or to even explain why dis honors my dad, UW Eugene Smith, his legacy, his family, other people involved, including the victims there, the dedicated cast and crew of the film who poured their hearts and souls into it, yeah, and more. And you know what, MGM, they met this with silence, at least in front of the scenes. Now, others, they voiced their opinions, too. People like Stephen DuPont, for example, a very famous photographer, said, Regardless of what J.D. is alleged to have done in his personal life, and there are just allegations about what happened during a marriage breakdown, he's just an actor. That's an important distinction, too. There were never, ever any charges brought against the man. Police, they did get involved one time. They said nothing happened, in fact. But, hey... You know, allegations equal substantiation, right? Wrong. The big picture here, he continues, is the film. It's the story and the victims of the mercury poisoning. MGM shouldn't be crossing that boundary. Don't shoot the messenger is what I'd say. MGM is not just punishing JD, but everyone else. The other actors, the director, the cinematographer, the writers, all of those involved. And yeah, I would agree with that to a point. But what I would really say is that MGM, they decided because of allegation alone to ruin someone's life. I mean, that that says plenty about companies, doesn't it? But hey, you know, what do I know, right? 
Now, interestingly, as more and more voices came out, they became angrier and angrier. I mean, listen to this here. We're talking about another photographer, and they they just cut right through everything. When I hear about Minimata being banned, you notice that word. That word, it just comes right out and says what's going on in the sense that MGM in America is not releasing it. It just reinforces my concerns about the cultural dumbing down that's going on. I mean, that, like I said, that's scathing because, again, they're part of it. Is MGM doing this to get more publicity or to ingratiate themselves with somebody? What is all this supposed to achieve? Mega corporations don't give a damn about individuals, period. Oh, man, you talk about shots fired and then some. Now, that firestorm of controversy I mentioned, yeah, I didn't even include the public reaction there. We are talking about millions of imprints across social media. One article alone, one talking about this, it had 100,000 plus by itself. You can see the reaction, too. It's universally negative toward MGM. And after months of all of this, MGM, they decided to concede. Now, fascinatingly, though, MGM, they decided they're not going to put out the movie. Oh no, despite all of that backlash proving that there is a market to it, they still decided that they're going to do something that really disconnects their brand. They decided they would hit up ILBE, partnered with Samuel Goldwyn Films, and allow them to distribute. I mean, that that says something's going on behind the scenes at MGM, doesn't it? Now, if you haven't heard about these folks before, by the way, they put out the movie Waiting for the Barbarians. That was also connected to JD. And yeah, those people that are trying to cancel him, oh, this part right here will probably make them crazy. You're going to see this come up at a specific date, rolling all the way into 2022. Why is that happening? Well, one of the aims is to make the film eligible for Academy Award consideration. Yeah, if JD won an Academy Award, heads would freaking explode. (laughs) Now, personally, I love the backlash to this, too. Why? Because it showcases that it's just a few voices out there that want to destroy people's lives. And again, it's based on speculation. It's based on accusation at all. No substantiation. But hey, when does that matter? The media, too. Some of them, they seem to be getting fed up with this. And they're getting more and more vocal. And you know what? I absolutely love seeing it. But anyway, let me know what you think about all of this stuff. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. You make this stuff work sincerely. Thank you for that. Now, we also, we have links in the description. One of those is for t-shirts. You know, any kind of merchandise that is sold this month, my part of it, it goes to local charity. We have a lot of local charities that need help now, so we're going to be helping those out. But yeah, check that out if you want. But you being here, that matters too. So thank you. Appreciate you again sincerely, and we will see you soon.